hate who I am. I hate who I'm becoming. I need a solution to fix this. And I will. Because I love my children and I pray to God for them. Help me, God. I don't want to make a mistake. I just feel like crying. And I don't know why. Guess I'm still fighting to get the answer. Why the serious video on our family channel? Why this video at all? Well, let me tell you that my husband likes to use this analogy and I think I accept it now because he says that the woman or the wife of the family, the mother, is really the heartbeat of the family or the light of the family. If the light or the heartbeat is weak, the rest of the family kind of suffers. And in that same analogy, I like to use that for this video which is I was very very weak and my postpartum depression which happens and it didn't it wasn't something I could control so it was something that was happening to me and it was starting to affect the children and my husband and basic things that are just meant to be enjoyable and so of course as you saw I tried to make things better and I tried my best to get better and that first video you watched at the beginning was super duper sad and it is sad to actually watch it but for me I'm super happy watching that because when I made that video I made it actually for the purpose that in case I killed myself I would have proof that I had tried to get better and that I was really just struggling and like why I didn't make it basically <sighs> or the other side of it is that I made that video to look back on that I overcame this terrible thing that was going to take my life and inspire other people that are maybe in the same situation or know someone who's in that situation. It's a very uncomfortable topic and I understand why. I'm here today to tell you that it can end. As you've seen so far, my story, the other attempts did help me get better by taking care of my nutrition, the exercise, the sleep, and the time for myself to make these YouTube videos. This YouTube channel started because I couldn't make music anymore. The kids were so loud and I had to go to bed at weird times and the kids were sleeping at weird times. So making these YouTube videos was the only thing that I did to get creative. And it was a nice thing to do because it was capturing all our family memories. As you guys have seen us grow and the children grew so much just in one year. And I have those videos now to look back on. So because of all these things that I did, the nutrition, the exercise, the sleep, the time for myself, and then the last one, 
it was the support and that's the thing that I didn't realize was very important until I had taken care of the other parts I was more clear-headed and I realized that it's actually like it's only so much you can do in your own strength and there's a point where it's not like asking a human another human like a parent or a friend or even your husband to take the load off it's a load that only can be taken off by your spiritual father the creator of your actual life so in the next video you're going to watch um, to end this video um, is a moment I had on December 15th where basically you have to have this moment if you're going to see the end of this postpartum depression and I am absolutely convinced that even if you were to follow medical um, professionals which you should get help from medical professionals but for me in my situation I had maxed out all of my help basically and I had to actually go on waiting list to get further help I was maxed out on the human help and now I was faced with the help from God I needed help from God and that was really um, a good thing for me and I'm happy I had that most people don't have that moment and they miss out on the, the true healing because when you get that medical help it's good but maybe you you got better and then years later something will happen to trigger your postpartum depression again and I know this because I was on Facebook groups where women were like 20 years after the postpartum depression and it came back and maybe worse and it started to ruin their marriage and ruin their relationship with their children and they were like, I don't know what's happening, I don't know why this happened to me and then obviously the Facebook group is there to support each other so that was their support but for me, I said no, I don't want to be like that, I don't want to be healed and then years from now have this problem I had this moment that you're about to watch, I really humbled myself to like the level of dust <laughs> in the Bible they talk about how we were made from dust and we return to dust that's like the moment I felt in this next video and I'm hoping that if you watch it, you don't have to watch it, but if you watch it, you can see what happened in me, that I truly surrendered everything I am to God. And I the Jesus Christ, is real because what he did is he took it all away from me like all the sadness all the depression because i had surrendered it to him and only if you knew me truly you would you'd see the change if you're following our youtube channel you'll see the change in our videos from our wisdom teeth weekend on our vlogmas videos december 16th that whole weekend i was literally set free from the postpartum depression. I've never felt so much more joy. I've never had such clear thoughts where I could just sit and not worry or be sad or think about hurting myself. I know this sounds so weird for other people, but this is a real problem. And the thing is, the world is accepting mental illness. It's not meant to be accepted. So finally, in conclusion, this is my story. I just wanted to share this with you because it's why we have the channel that we have today, the family that we have today, and the reason I am able to smile. I really want to put this video out and get it out and just share that it's possible to heal completely from postpartum depression. And I hope my children watch this one day and feel joy about how amazing their Savior Jesus is. This is it. Like, this is really true. And it's not because it's just what happened to me, it's because it's actually true. I really don't want any mom, any one person in their life to suffer the way I suffered. And a lot of people are suffering this way and nothing is going to help except for Jesus. Like, Jesus is the only one that will save you. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal and convict you of like all the sin all the pain, all the suffering, all the bad choices you made to lead you to this place because I made a choice to not trust God during my labor and in turn I suffered this postpartum depression it's not like God was smiting me, it was a consequence sin is a consequence of disobeying God I disobeyed him, I didn't love him, I didn't trust him and then what happened to me? 
So all it took was me to realize that and I completely surrendered to him as you'll see in this video and I put my trust back in him regardless of the healing or not. But I did. That night I woke up from a terrible unsettling spirit and I prayed with all I had and my husband prayed with me and that's it. I was free. Like I felt it leave me. Like the actual presence of darkness left me. The depression I struggled with since I was a child left me. Panic attacks left me. Anxiety left me and depression left me. Postpartum was good after that. <laughs> and not just like my life got better, but my health got better, my relationship got better, and my children are literally so beautiful. And I want this for every family, every mom's heart to be full and healthy again, um, the way God created you to be. And so every family has a heartbeat, which is that mom um, or that wife figure. And once you're made healthy and whole, you'll see your husband and your children really flourish in the people they were meant to be. Anyways, this is the video. Thanks for watching, um, whoever you are. I pray in Jesus' name that you'll be free right now if that's truly what you want and that you'll truly receive complete healing. Even when my strength is lost, I'll praise you. Even when I have no song, I'll praise you. Even when it's hard to find the words without a fancy. Even when the fight seems lost, I'll praise you. Even when it hurts like hell, I'll praise you. Even when it makes no sense to see. Thank you.